What a journey it has been for Xbox this generation. After making so much headway and gaining incredible momentum with the Xbox 360, Xbox fumbled onto the scene with Xbox One in the worst possible way. Xbox almost got knocked out of the arena with the most critical of errors in strategy, branding and PR. Very simple to disable the, the 24 hour check in and the one Do you? Are you on the development team? The Xbox One was a byproduct of a lost and misguided Microsoft, which did not have the interest of gamers at heart. All we heard was TV, TV, sports TV, TV, TV. Followed by horribly disconnected attempts at salvaging a situation where irreparable damage had already been done. Fortunately, we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. Stick with 360, that's your message. If you don't, well, you don't like it. If, if you have zero access yeah. to the internet. Meanwhile, its opposition went on from strength to strength, using Xbox's missteps to enhance its position. Already bolstered by a well thought out piece of hardware, excellent pricing strategy, and years of experience in the field, with some of the best first-party studios in the industry. Xbox went on to lose its stronghold in two key regions, the United Kingdom and, more critically, the United States. The Xbox One was in trouble. In order to remain relevant in the game, Xbox had no choice but to somehow undo all its problems that were plaguing it, including the following. Its connection with gamers, addressing the lack of power in the Xbox One console, relationship with indie developers, and most crucially, filling in the gaping hole in its first party outfit. At the time, all this seemed like a near impossible task, and many were talking about the possible disappearance of Xbox from the gaming space altogether. It nearly happened, but instead, In comes in Phil Spencer, the newly appointed head of Xbox, who would go on to restore all the confidence lost in the Xbox brand. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With Phil Spencer at the helm, Xbox set out to tackle every single problem that besieged it. And one by one, in a generation spent almost entirely striving to rectify its problems, Xbox got its foundational hooks in place and ready to fight back stronger than ever before. And while we weren't sure it was possible, today I'm pleased to announce Xbox One backward compatibility. Long gone were the days of old where Xbox's opaque and out-of-touch mentality did it more harm than good. The lines of communication were finally open and in unprecedented fashion. Out of all the console makers in the industry, Spencer and company listened to gamers day in and day out, making adjustments and critical changes. Whilst others sat silent, the Xbox crew were regularly in conversations with their fan base on a daily basis. This would serve to be critical in Xbox's path to recovery. Last year and announcing a lot of new games and having games, games, games be the focus of the show. I want to do the same thing again this year. Not a lot of, of executive middle management up on stage. Let's make sure we have creators up there. We've got great games that we're showing. Gamers made it clear that power mattered and this generation saw mid-gen consoles become a thing. Xbox were not going to be outdone, not this time. The Xbox One X became the most powerful current-gen console and a product that was well thought out and extremely capable, whereas the PlayStation 4, in contrast, seemed like a more lazier attempt at a mid-gen upgrade. This would set the scene for what was to come as Xbox made it clear that it did not want to be out of position in power, no matter what the cost to it. Xbox One X. Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made. The 
the most fundamental problem that Xbox faced, even before the Xbox One was a thing, was its first party outfit. It paled in comparison to Sony, and gamers were getting tired of Xbox relying heavily on the same IPs all the time. Gears of War, Forza and Halo. Whilst all excellent intellectual properties, gamers wanted more. Fixing this was never going to be easy. And then, E3 2018 happened. And now, I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. The Initiative. Led by Daryl Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. It's my distinct pleasure to announce that we have acquired Playground Games. This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation, celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. It's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft Studios. Having acquired incredibly talented and diverse studios in one fell swoop, the game had changed. Xbox hasn't just stopped there though, and continues to grow its first party outfit. At the time of recording this video, it has been announced by Microsoft that it has acquired ZeniMax Media, the parent company for Bethesda Software. This is an absolutely massive get for Xbox and will have massive ramifications for the next gen. Perhaps the biggest success of this generation and a huge win for gamers is Xbox Game Pass, the subscription service that today represents the best value in gaming. Xbox have also doubled down on it, adding EA Play to Game Pass for no additional cost. Xbox opened up the platform to PC gamers who long felt abandoned by it. With day and date support for all future exclusives, it was clear that Xbox was finally taking the PC crowd seriously. All that hard work, all those struggles, the honesty, communication and transparency on display by Xbox has finally put it in good stead with gamers. The Xbox Series X will be the most powerful console on earth and the price matching its competitors less powerful console. Xbox still has a lot to do and a lot to prove, particularly in the first party department. Xbox fans are hungry to see more of what these first party studios have been working on and in the run up to the launch of the Xbox Series X, very little next gen gameplay has been shown off. The burden of proof remains squarely on Xbox to show what all these studios are capable of on Xbox. Rest assured though, the next generation is going to be one of the most interesting ones yet because the competition has never looked stiffer. Xbox and PlayStation will be battling it out harder than ever before to get into the living room of gamers. I'm Gaz, co-owner of Game On Daily, and I thank you for watching.